For the installation, you need a hammer, gripping pliers for the couplers and terminals, and side cutting pliers for the wires. Prepare a ground plan of the garden in order to find the best place for the station. And the place should be shady. Hmm. And level, so that the mower can drive into the station easily. Of course, nothing happens without power. The nearest power outlet can be a maximum of five meters away. First, position the base plate so that the back points to the edge of the grass. By the way, those small holes are there so that any water can drain. I only have to clip in the charging unit from the top. So, connect the power supply to the charging station with a low voltage cable and plug the power supply into the power outlet. Switch on the main switch of the robotic mower and now push it into the charging station to be charged. And here is something quite important. The screws for fastening the charging station to the ground are used right at the end, so that there is still some leeway when the station is completely installed.